this time around media personality noble igwe is in the news again he always comes up with controversial discussions on social media if you know him very well if you recall pastor dolly some time ago he put out there on social media that uh parents children are not responsible for taking care of their parents or something like that you mm -hmm. remember yeah, yeah. all right so he's back again with yet another one this time around Novo igwe says Igbo women are lazy they just want to sit back and enjoy their husband's money okay now a twitter thread by media personality Nobu igwe has sparked off a controversy on twitter in his tweet he said that Igbo women are lazy they don't like working and they just want to sit back and enjoy their husband's hard-earned money he said unlike Igbo women Yoruba women are hard-working they build their own houses themselves and they do not wait to inherit houses from their fathers the Igbo women on the other hand they want to inherit their husband's property and then inherit from their father's house as well but do nothing but answer Oriaku. Mm -hmm. Now, tomorrow, according to Nobu Igwe, you will see other women tweet about how their mothers willed things to them and how it helped them do better. These tweets don't come from Igbo women. Them and their mothers are waiting for their father to die first. He went on to advise Nigerian men, saying, find yourself a woman that is ready to work hard with you to leave things equally for your children and not the evil woman that is waiting on you to die first so that she can inherit and be called oriaku hmm. end of quotes since you started with him so let me start that conversation <laughs> from you chioma all right so even women are lazy that is what noble igwe is saying what do you think about that really <laughs> because i'm evil okay <laughs> okay <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay okay let me start by saying laziness is not the penchant of any particular tribe okay you can find lazy women in basically every part of the world if they choose to be mm. it's a personal thing it's an individual thing now um for his comments i would say he's probably looking for attention because what i've always known about the Igbo woman is that even in those days when they were expected to stay home to run the family they used to still go to the farms mm. and when we talk of farming it's it's kind of um shit there are men do the harder part of the farming like um, harvesting yams and all those kind of things or going to carry palm fruits that have fallen those okay. are men's jobs mm. but they do the lighter farming planting of um, corn gathering the vegetables and they still come home to fetch water go to the stream fetch water take care of the children prepare the meals a lazy woman can do those it takes a lot of energy the men can't even after coming back from the farm they do these things the men come back from the farm they sit down and where is my food who's lazy here then in modern times they have progressed to we don't farm anymore we're in the city mm. but we still work and hard too as hard as our husbands sometimes even harder we still come home to run the house mm. to take care of the children to raise proper children for them mm. who's this guy is he married i don't understand i think he's just looking for attention mm. for all i care i'm waiting to spend a month's money i'm yet to see it in 21 years of marriage mm. that's because i don't wait for it mm. I was raised by a strong woman. Up till tomorrow, my father would always boast that my mother started their house in the village with her money. Hmm. She didn't wait for my father. After she had done the foundation, my father now went and continued. And that's who raised me. That's how I operate. I don't wait for a man to do things for me. I'm not lazy. Hmm. I don't. I don't even know what it means to spend a man's money. And there are a lot of women like that. So this guy should retract this statement. I find it insulting. Okay. All right. All right. So let me hear it from the man. <laughs> and he's a Yoruba man, interestingly. Okay. Um, um, I, thank you, ma. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I, yes. Um, I we want us to ask the man. We try. Noble Igwe is Igbo himself. That's why it's shocking. Mm. Yeah, so that's that why it's coming from an Igbo man. Yeah. man. So mm. I think uh, he, he said what he said out of experience. Hmm. We call it bitter experience. His mm. own experience. Mm. That is own experience. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that all, we, all women in Igbo are lazy. Mm. So, ma, you will look, if you look at 
the responsible, notable women among the famous one in the in industries the society. in society today, you see that evil women are many, mm. more than Yorubas. Yeah, I'm a Yoruba man, more than Yoruba women. So it depends on the perspective or how, take for instance, you marry Igbo. You can tell your wife, don't work. I don't want you to work. Mm. You know, all these things started by the talking of love. I want you to be a housewife. So when things now begin to go beyond the capacity of a man, what he can control, he begin to see and begin to complain. Mm. The next thing is, you can't be sitting down at home any longer. Mm. Just because what the, the foundation of their coming together has already been dented. There is a challenge there. Are you with me? Mm. So not all the women in Igbo are. Oh, where is the money that the woman want to even chop? I wonder. I, 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 I want to salute uh, the College of Women. Mm. They are the one even doing the most tedious tax school job. Our duty is to provide the means of livelihood for them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Our duty is to make them happy because when we impregnate them, <laughs> we leave them for that nine months in pain. We are running up and down. And they are the ones to bear the pains and they will raise the kids. Ask how many fathers know the class of their children. Ask how many fathers know the uh, able the school fees. Uh -huh, I was about the to say actual school fees. fees uh -huh. The woman is paying concerned it. Hmm. Ask how many fathers that know the number, the, the class now that first born or second born, they will be telling you, hey, that my first born, that one uh, should be GSST. <laughs> or even their birthday. They don't even remember this. They don't remember. They don't so okay. it is this woman that will carry all these. Uh, it's, a, it's a job on his own. Uh -huh. So hitting the what who will hit your money if it was your wife? Who's supposed to hear it if not your wife? Does he even have the money? No, that so that's it. just it. For me, I saw it as a perspective from a bitter experience. Maybe yeah. a woman who they agreed on a certain level, and that is why she is using that one as a voice. Hmm. It's not general. I disagree. Oh. Well, can, can I say something quickly? Quickly, quickly. Okay, if you say he's, yes, five, indeed, he's probably speaking from his own perspective, based on his own experience. Mm -hmm. But whatever kind of woman he, f he has found himself with is an indication of what his values are. Mm -hmm. Because if you know who you are, you would look for who you are and what will work for you mm -hmm. in your mates. Mm -hmm. If you have attracted a lazy woman to yourself, then something is then wrong. Then check yourself. Yes, something mm -hmm. is wrong with you yourself okay. and your values. You should have All seen right. that. While I want to hear Pastor Dolly's take, but before she says something, let me just put this out there to say that we cannot totally negate what Noble Igwe has said. Like uh, Pastor Ayola said, it's coming from his own experience of True. things. And again, let's not forget that the Igbos and issues bordering on inheritance, they are very sensitive issues. You yeah. get what I mean? Yes. So he's also coming from that mouth. We're talking about but women don't even inherit, inherit in Igbo land. Inheriting, you know, from the uh, husband, from the man. Uh, so uh, I think it's husband. what he has experienced. Mm -hmm. But I'm putting a blanket statement to say, Evil women, like mm -hmm. in general, yeah, uh, are lazy. I think that, that is, is yeah. where the issue uh, is. All right, Pastor Dolly. Well, I think they said so much. Just to add to what they said, I I don't think it is even about his own experience. I think it's just about somebody who wants to get people talking. <laughs> somebody who just want to give us, like he has given us mm -hmm. work now. Assignments. assignments. He wants to give us assignment. <laughs> I think that is just the kind of person he is. Because the first thing that came to mind when this whole issue came up, to, that came to my mind was just thinking about women in this nation mm. that are doing great things, great names within and globally yeah, yeah. and I, I could see so many Igbo women amongst them, amongst them. and uh, when we go to the marketplace hmm. the women we see in the marketplace hmm. where we will see women that have babies yeah, in their back that are in the market. Market. I think that particular market has been taken over you understand? Yeah. so somebody is coming out to say that then you will ask yourself has this person been in isolation for how long? <laughs> yes, he doesn't yes, know yes. what is actually yes. going on yes. outside. Yes. So I think we shouldn't take him serious. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, so now we're in Gwei. It's a very sensational <laughs> and controversial <laughs> debate on social media. If you go on the social space, you will see his comments is really generating loads and loads and loads of counter reactions and all of that. Surprisingly, a lot of men are actually on his side and saying uh, evil women are quite complacent as it were. But I don't know, but I'm not evil, you know, originally, but then um, 
by virtue of marriage i have mingled with so many evil women and one thing that stands them out i think is the fact that they are quite industrious I so i don't know where this precious precious i think where the, i just thought where here. this thing may be coming from mm. you know where you have indomitable character mm. where you don't want to be oppressed you understand now the Igbos are known for fighting over properties mm. A lady laid, labors with her husband, the husband passed, and the family are coming in to want to carry everything mm -hmm. they both labored for. Mm. And the poor woman will resist such a thing. Mm -hmm. So if you because she's resisting such a you're coming out to say she's, she's lazy, she's after inheritance. No, she's not after inheritance. Mm. She's only fighting for oh, what right. is rightfully hers. Mm. 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 All right. Then again, I'm shocked that this kind of comment is coming from someone as well read and exposed you know a socialite evil such as noble igwe you know i'm shocked because we're trying to change the narrative in so many things especially where the girl child and issues of inheritance mm -hmm. you know are concerned you know and then you're putting out this kind of statement and all that what are you really trying to say and this of course takes us to another nigerian an Igbo lady this time around she's actually a fantastic writer she went on social media to recount how our family members male family members actually approached her and encouraged her to tell the father to adopt a male child because herself and her younger sisters cannot inherit their parents properties because they are girls you know so uh we all know how the evils are with inheritance it's still a very big issue in the east forget education forget exposure it is a big issue as to whether or not a female can actually inherit in her father's uh, 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 family, you know, and all of that. So when you put out this kind of statement, you're just trying to, you know, uh, what's that word? To add more petrol. Petrol fire. fire that's okay. already burning. All right. <laughs>